The Russians and Ronnie, 11.45 tonight. Would you swim the ocean? Yeah, yeah. Now that's the boat. Yeah. There ain't nothing in the world that I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do for my brother. Uh, would you wreck a bear? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you shave off your hair? woman last night at Jody's bar? You always do. Yeah, her name is Serena. <laughs> I thought you went out with Serena last month. Uh-uh. This is a different Serena. <laughs> I never had any Serenas. <laughs> you had two, huh? Three, if you count high school. There were no Serenas in high school. I think the faculty... go with you last night, huh? Did you explore the mysteries of womanhood? Mm, my date didn't work out. I came home early and explored the mysteries of laundry. Okay? But this one sounded real good from a red in the personal. Ah, oh, yes. Pretty as a picture. Happy as a lark. Free as the wind. And in real life? Old as the hills. Bad as the house. Barked like a dog. Do you realize that this has got to be the tenth woman that you've rejected since your divorce from Betsy? Hey, Bucko, Betsy's a tough act to follow. Yeah. She's beautiful. She's intelligent. She's funny. She's history. <laughs> right? Of course right. Right. We divorced. We never got divorced before. <laughs> we fought. We had our ups and downs. We had our craziness. This time it's final. Yeah, well, I should hope so. I mean, you found her in bed with another guy. Gosh, Scott, thanks for reminding me. Maybe we could have a little commemorative plaque made up in case I forget that again. And not just another guy. A famous talk show host. What must that feel like? Scott, do me a favor. Give us my case about that, dude. No problem. Thank you. It's your life. Thank you. I am not my brother's keeper. Well, thank you. I'm staying here this afternoon. I'm having you committed. All right, all right. Relax, eat your donut. Right. She's just coming over to the office to pick up the brooch Aunt Edna left her. It's my responsibility to see that she gets it. So let Mom deliver it. Aunt Edna will never know. Sure. I could picture Mom now. <laughs> Pepsi, darling, here's the brooch, sweetheart. If you could just sign right here where it says, Tramp! <laughs> Wait, you and Mom have more hard feelings towards her than I do. Oh, come on. Mm. Come in, Mickey. <laughs> And make us talk. Hey, Julian, is this man incredible or what? A gift from God. What does you know? Don't play cool with Mickey Murphy. The super just showed me your Porsche in front of the building. I went insane from it. <laughs> Serena lent it to me. She went out of town for a couple days. <laughs> Do you believe this guy? He's got a great job in construction, a fantastic apartment, and our girl thinks Serena are giving him Porsches. In the beer commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me true, Julian. Is it amazing having a brother like this or what? Mickey, it's awesome. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Frank, I gotta go. Someone just walked in. Yes, very important. He just flew in from Rome. Uh, just a moment, Your Holiness. <laughs> Frank, 
I'll call you back. Julian, how do you feel? I feel terrific. You look like hell. Thank you. Your brother tells me you've been staying home nights doing laundry. That's very nice, Julian. Some mothers have pictures of their grandchildren on the desks. I'll have pictures of clean socks and underwear. It's cute. That's very cute. Yeah. I came for Aunt Edna's brooch. Oh, I have wonderful news for you. You won't need the brooch. What? Aunt Edna's returned from the dead. They've got her holed up at the Mayo Clinic for a few months. But she's back, and she's going to want that brooch in case 60 Minutes shows up. Knock it off, Mom. All right. All right. I'm going to treat you like a grown-up. Here's the brooch. <laughs> Be careful how you touch it. I had the point sharpened. <laughs> Take this. Goes back to the lawyers. She has to sign it to say that she got the brooch. Where does she sign? Right here, where it says tramp. <laughs> oh, I can't believe how busy we are. Wow, when you're hot, you're hot. What time is it? It is now 11 and a half minutes past three. Will you stop asking? She's always late. <laughs> <laughs> She's late to our wedding. <laughs> if you married me, I'd camp out in front of the church the night before. Emily, In please. fact, I could leave now. My wedding gown's been in the trunk of my car ever since you and Betsy got divorced. <laughs> Emily. <laughs> You're wonderful for my ego. You're my business partner. Would you mind talking to me about business? All right. For the good of the business, I think we should take a course together at night school. Which course? Massage for couples. <laughs> Did I mention that I have a team of bridesmaids on 24-hour standby alert just in case of emergency? Emily. I love you. Like, like a sister. sister. Bye. <laughs> just called. She said she can't make it this afternoon and she wants you to meet her tonight at 6.30 at her apartment. <laughs> Fine. Th uh, thank you, Debbie. Um. It's Debbie. <laughs> Doesn't matter. This is strictly business. Hi. Hi. Can I kiss you hello? Sure you can kiss me. <laughs> I brought a little wine. I, uh... I opened some champagne. 1982. What are we celebrating? <laughs> I was promoted. You are looking at the newest vice president of Beep Beep. <laughs> Congratulations. I came up with this idea for a new mm. beeper. It's selling like crazy. Cheers. <laughs> it coughs. Good what? Julian, you know how whenever you go to the theater to the opera and someone's beeper goes off how annoyed you get? Well, this one coughs. <laughs> You, uh, don't mind my asking? <laughs> Mr. Uh, talk Show host. <clears throat> He's fine. He's on the coast this week shooting a special. Anyone sitting in for him? <laughs> okay. Are you going to tell me that you're not seeing anyone? Well, there's Serena. <laughs> she, uh, gave me a Porsche. I uh, brought the brooch. <laughs> so, if you could just sign these papers, I'll get going. <laughs> Do you have to go? Well, well I appreciate the invitation. Um, we've done this before. <laughs> uh, break up. 
Make a break up, divorce. Make up again? No. <laughs> hmm. I'm sorry. I I could have sworn that I felt the old magnetism. Oh, you did. <laughs> but I'm not gonna let my life be run by my magnet. <laughs> Sign it. I'm going. Bye, Betsy. One, two, three, four, five. I'm glad you haven't changed your style. <laughs> now that we're cozy and clinging, well, team, all I can say is I will fill at the ring <laughs> Ding dong! What, just for breakfast? Chicken and kidney parts for the cat and GBX114 with retardation factor 20 for us. I'll trade with the cat. <laughs> so, who is she? Who is who? Whoever it is you've been uh, dating for the last four days? Now, what makes you think I've been dating? <laughs> the laundry's piling up. <laughs> I'm sorry. You've been singing show tunes again. You always sing show tunes when your love life picks up. <laughs> so come on. What is she? Blonde, brunette, white, white. Come on. Yeah. You know I don't talk about the women I date. What about Marcy Kolodny? You told me every detail. That was different. That was my, you know, my first time. I had to tell somebody. Yeah, but I was only nine. <laughs> yeah. Don't think I don't appreciate those pointers you gave me. They still work. <laughs> so, you gonna tell me or not, huh? No. <laughs> okay. In that case, it must be because you're dating Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you say that? Come on, there's only one reason you wouldn't tell me, and that's that you think I wouldn't approve. So, who wouldn't I approve of? Boy George. <laughs> True. But Aunt Edna didn't leave Boy George a brooch. Which you delivered four days ago? No comment. Damn it, Julian, no comment is a comment. All right, all right. I'm dating Emily. Emily? From the office, Emily? <laughs> that is wonderful. What did you tell me? Well, you know, he's my business partner. You know, I, I don't like to mix business and uh, romance. Yeah, but you could have told me. I mean, I mix everything with everything. <laughs> Uh, well, now you know. <laughs> you. Uh, don't uh, tell anybody. <laughs> Why not? Well, if our clients knew we were a couple, they'd think we weren't concentrating on business. Yeah. Gotcha. Hey, I won't tell a soul. Oh, okay. Geronimo takes secrets to brave with him. <laughs> I wonder who that could be at 7 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> Mom, what a surprise. I'm here on business. How are you, boys? I am fantastic. Me too. I feel like a million bucks. Give <laughs> 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 or take a few dollars. <laughs> Tom? <laughs> I, I was watching a basketball game on television. <laughs> I was screaming so hard. I got a sore throat. God, why didn't you tell me your brother was sick? No. Let me see your throat. Oh, no, please. It happens to all. Fans, they don't call for their mothers. See, I'm fine now. <laughs> What's the story with Betsy? Betsy? Hey, Betsy. Did she sign for the brooch or not? <laughs> the papers, yeah. They're yeah. in my briefcase, so I'll go get them. Yeah. <laughs> go, Nick! Go, Nick! <laughs> oh! You got up awfully bright and early to come and pick up the legal papers. That's right. That's your cover story. We all know what you're really doing. Oh, yeah? What's that? Mothering. If you're so smart, why are you in a business where you could fall off a building? <laughs> I love the hat. 
<laughs> a boy with your brains and your looks. You should be doing something else besides swinging from steel beams. Ma, I was keeping this a secret from you. I'm really a successful dermatologist with a wife and two lovely children. You're invited to our beautiful house in Teaneck, New Jersey this Sunday for lunch. I'll send the car. You are a very funny man. Very funny. <laughs> Between you and the screaming Knicks fan and your grandpa, I got a lot of laughs. Grandpa, what do you do? Are you ready for this? He's dating. No. Yeah. Man's 75 years old. He's got a honey bun. <laughs> That's it? You call? <laughs> Hi, sweetie. I'm very sorry to bother you. It's just that... Look, I know you were supposed to come over tonight, but my old college roommate is in town. Do you mind if I have dinner with her instead? Uh, of course I mind, but I'll survive. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Yeah, have a great time. <laughs> Ooh, have a good time. <laughs> Pretty good at keeping secrets from you, isn't he? Oh, he always has been. I can't believe he's got a girlfriend. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Geronimo. You're supposed to take my secret to the grave. You can't even take it to the living room. Oh. Because she's jumped to conclusion. Me talking about Grandpa's girlfriend. Ugh. <laughs> Now we can talk about yours. Talk. Yeah. <laughs> it's Emily. Emily Cabot. Why would you keep such wonderful news from your mother? Because you're going to want to make one of your big fancy dinners for her. Fine. We'll have a simple dinner. You cook and I'll be here at seven. <laughs> I worked that out well, didn't I? <laughs> crazy idea. <laughs> my mother is coming over to my house for dinner tonight. Why don't you come along? <laughs> Great. Bet to get hit by a bus. <laughs> a bus? <laughs> That's funny. You're funny. <laughs> <clears throat> I couldn't tell Scott and Mom I was seeing Betsy again. <laughs> I told him I was dating you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. So, Betsy gets to sleep with you, and I get to have dinner with your mother. <laughs> well, that sounds like a business I could open up. I'll bet a lot of women would sign up. Yeah. Hey, come on. We've been partners for five years. Oh, and you think that entitles you to use me like an escort service? Forget it. I'm not doing it. What are we having? Chicken. Fish. You got I'll it. I'll be there. <laughs> Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Right, look, uh, you've met my mother before. This is just a casual little dinner to celebrate the fact we're supposedly dating. Don't overplay it. Emily. Mom. <laughs> and here's my son, the construction worker, who dropped out of college to follow his dream. <laughs> oh, here's Julian. In his little cowboy outfit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I say it. <clears throat> Honey, did I ever mention that my husband and I were business partners before we got married? Yes, Mom, you mentioned it three times. I also saved my wedding dress. That's it. End of charade. Emily and I are not dating. She's helped me cover up the fact I'm seeing Betsy again. Why did you lie to us? Because I couldn't stand to have you and Scott tell me what a jerk I was. So, like a jerk, I covered it up. Covered it up? You've been singing show tunes like Ethel Merman. <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. Scott, uh, I'm sorry. Emily. Julian. Love means never having to say you're sorry. <laughs> I gotta go. Julian. Hi. I didn't expect to see you tonight. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
<laughs> How was uh, dinner with your old college roommate? It was lovely, thank you, Wiggy. <laughs> What's that? A cough coming from the bedroom. Your paper, perhaps, right? No, Julie. Maybe it's, it's Mr. Late Night Entertainment himself. Let's just see. <laughs> Wanda Glassman. And you get all the applause, folks. I see you're busy. Thanks for the cost, dear. I'll call you soon. Well, I feel like a jerk. <laughs> I thought... I know what you thought, Julian. You didn't trust me. And here you are, the picture of innocence. <laughs> this time. <clears throat> what about next time? I love you. I don't think I could ever trust you. That's a cue. You're supposed to tell me I'm wrong. I can't. I'm going to California for the weekend. Julian, I thought it was over with him, but it's not. I still care about him. <laughs> Betsy... America cares about him. <laughs> Millions of women go to bed with him every night. <laughs> hey. Bye, Ben. What are you still doing up? Mom just left. She wouldn't stop talking. I hope I got her stamina when I'm her age. I hope I've got grandpa's. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's over between me and Betsy. Again. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Say it. I have it coming to me. Say what? I told you so. Hey, come on. You know that's not my style. Besides, if I said I told you so, would you listen to me the next time around? No. I prefer to learn my lessons the hard way. Yeah, I know. Would you listen to me if I thought you were doing the wrong thing? Yeah, I would. No, you wouldn't. Julian, I was only two when Dad died. I've listened to you my whole life. Don't drink that. <laughs> Come on. I know Mom never let us drink soft drinks before bedtime, but I'm a big boy now. Stop bothering me, will you? It's a test product. <laughs> Liquid liver. <laughs> For cat. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Don't. of West 57th tonight. Now stay tuned for Margaret Colon, who is one feisty private eye, and you'll love her legwork next. Mm -hmm.